In February, the Globe and Mail reported that CSIS uncovered the Beijing Communist regime's plan to target Justin Trudeau in a foreign influence operation using the Trudeau Foundation. Back in 2014, a Beijing official was captured in a wiretap conversation with one of the Trudeau Foundation donors. That Beijing official instructed the donor to give the Trudeau Foundation up to a million dollars and told him that the communist regime would reimburse him for the entire amount. Now fast forward seven months after Justin Trudeau became prime minister. The Liberal Party has a cash for access fundraiser for Justin Trudeau and that same donor that was taking instructions from the regime in Beijing, he attended. And just weeks after that cash for access fundraiser with the prime minister, the Trudeau Foundation announced that that donor and another wealthy businessman would donate a million dollars to the foundation. But since the Globe and Mail news story revealing that CSIS had uncovered Beijing's influence operation, the Trudeau Foundation felt they had to return the Beijing back donation after misleading Canadians about the source of that donation. In May, we learned at committee that in the 20 years at the Trudeau Foundation, the Prime Minister's brother, Alexandre Trudeau, has only ever arranged and signed for one donation, a $140,000 payment from Beijing that gained donors direct access to the Prime Minister. Within five weeks of Justin Trudeau's brother signing off on that donation. We now know the Trudeau Foundation attempted to cover up the Beijing back donation and misled Canadians about where the money was coming from. This Beijing funded influence operation targeting the Prime Minister that Canada's intelligence service uncovered in Globe and Mail news reports is only the tip of the iceberg. News reports on intelligence documents show that MPs and their families were also being targeted by Beijing operatives right here on Canadian soil. And one of the reasons the dictatorship in Beijing views Canada as a prime target for interference is our lack of a foreign agent registry. But Justin Trudeau has shown that he's not serious about foreign interference, and he even tried to cover it up. He denied the news reports at first, attacking Canada's free press and our intelligence services, blaming them for doing their job. He tried to shut down parliamentary investigations and he tried to stack the review by appointing former Trudeau Foundation CEO Morris Rosenberg to investigate foreign interference. The Prime Minister even failed to immediately expel the diplomat who was acting as an operative and targeting MPs and their families two years after the government became aware and a full week after this information became public. If that's not bad enough, he also appointed his ski buddy and neighbour, another Trudeau Foundation member, to advise him on if he should even have a public inquiry. But we know an open, independent public inquiry is the only way to credibly investigate Beijing's influence operation and interference in our democracy and to uncover what and when the government knew. Canadians deserve to be protected from foreign interference and threats from foreign regimes. They deserve full transparency so they can have confidence in our democracy and our institutions. Canada's Conservatives are going to hold this government to account and we're going to make sure that we bring home transparency and accountability for you.